Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and I just wanted to share something with you, but I'm going to try to keep this a quick video, or make it a quick video. Recently, my uncle had an issue with his Apple MacBook Pro 2015 model, where he would boot it up, he would hear the Apple boot tones or uh, boot up sounds, but he would not get a display, it was just black. So he gave it to me. But this is after he had recently taken it to a couple of places. So there's an issue with what he did. And I'm happy he reached out to me because here in North Florida, it's very hard to find an Apple certified technician. And if you have an independent person work on it, that can void your warranty and stuff like that. Well, there's a whole different spiel about Apple warranty and certified technician, but in short, that can add to the cost of your repair by having an Apple certified technician work on your computer, but because it's Apple certified technician working on it, it will fall in line if you have a warranty. Uh, let me read this to you real quick. So service providers are required to use Apple certified Macintosh technicians when conducting diagnostic, covered repairs, modifications, alterations, and upgrades on Apple products. For every 30 Apple repairs conducted each week, a service provider should employ at least one certified technician. Becoming a, uh, certified to repair Apple Macintosh systems require both passing a software and hardware exam at an authorized Prometric testing center. Certifications are renewed on an annual basis via recertification exams. And that will add to the cost of the repair nine times out of ten, but he went to one place and they quoted him $500. He went to another place and they quoted him $350. Now, if we go to iFixit, we can see that the, the, the MacBook Pro assembly, which is the whole thing, right? So the back uh, the, has the wireless connections, the LCD connections, everything, is about $550 at uh, iFixit. And with the just LCD panel, it's about two hundred dollars or one ninety nine ninety nine. So that's uh, gonna add to the cost. So if the the one that quoted him three fifty bought this for two hundred bucks, then he just paid one hundred and fifty in repairs. If this one was quoted for five hundred, that means he probably got it from somewhere cheaper like Alibaba or overseas for maybe two hundred bucks, and then the technician would have made three hundred on the repair. Let me show you what I did. So first off, there's ten screws. All right, so four on top and bottom, and then one on each side. There's star tip number three. What I did was open it up, and over here in the upper right-hand corner, you will see an LCD connection where I'm pointing right now. And all I did was grab that little retention arm. It's a little black reten retention arm. Pull up on it, and then reseat it. The retention arm is very easy to see. Matter of fact, if we stop and switch back over to iFixit, here it is right here. Uh, it only goes in one way, and because the way the laptop set up, when you lift up on it, it's going to stay in its, in, its, in its position. So all you got to do is unplug it, wait a few seconds, plug it back in, and then try to boot up your laptop. So I did that about 15 minutes of my time, and then when I booted the system back up, there we go. We got his screen showing again but he's been using this for quite some time so if we're in 2019 he bought it in 2015 what four years what's what can sometimes happen with laptops especially if you use it on a regular basis and, and i saw a lot of dirt within the, the the chassis is you know he'll set it on his back seat be driving have to slam on his brakes and his laptop will fall and hit the ground sometimes that that type of action or motion or um joshing of the device can cause connections to get a little bit loose that's it so just check the connections make sure there's no burnt transistors capacitors if you're not into all that then just try to disconnect the lcd connection reconnect it be careful don't touch anything else and you should be good to go on the 25 2015 model i didn't see anywhere where there's like a special seal or coating or anything like that where the LCD connection was up in the upper right hand corner. I didn't see anything like that. So even if you did have a warranty, I'm not sure if they'd be able to tell. Maybe they would. I know Apple has a bunch of tricks that they implement. But try this first. See if it saves you the money. 
another thing you can try if you if you do do that trick, you know, reset the connection or, or unplug it, plug it back in, so to speak, uh, and you're still not getting a display, try connecting it to an external display, whether your model has Thunderbolt, uh, Type-C, uh, display, mini display port, HDMI, whatever your model has, uh, I know different ones vary, connect it to an external display, try booting up and see if you get an output. If you get an output and a picture on your screen, then it may be your LCD and you can opt to either get the full assembly or just the LCD panel and have it repaired. But see if you can do this little trick. Hopefully it helps you out, save you some money. Do me a favor, if it does, hit the like button, share it to a family member or a friend who's experiencing the black screen but boots up just fine issue. Um, and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know in the comments below if you are experiencing this issue. Uh, and I'll see if I can't help you troubleshoot in some form or fashion or hit me up on Twitter. Thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you in the next one.